What's up fam? Today we'll be doing unboxing Dark Wolf. New product from Surinoya, their new BFS reel. And of course I got some other cool stuff that came in the box. So this is a preview of what we'll be playing with in the near future. So small stick baits, okay. And then I got something here. It's a sinking pencil, single hook. Uh, I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but guys stay tuned for this one. Definitely wanna stay tuned for this one. Got some soft plastic curly tail shad shape body, I guess. Yep, just curly tail sh shad shape. But of course, all you guys care about right now in this video is the Dark Wolf. What is the Dark Wolf? Well, Surinoir latest BFS reel, and they basically jumped on a GH100 bandwagon, you know, with the nice sexy brakes, the, uh, you know, Shimano FTP style. But yeah, everyone's been raving about the GH100 since the debut of this reel, and then so many other companies actually jumped on the bandwagon as well to use this brake system. To me, the GH100 wasn't the best reel out of the box, but uh, with some tuning, the GH100 is actually a pretty, pretty good reel. I basically had to remove the stock bearings. They sucked even though I cleaned them out. I put on ceramic cut bearings, okay? So we'll leave this on the side because we will come right back to it when we compare this guy here, all right? Uh, I guess, uh, you know what? what? Let's take a look at the box for a second. So there's specs here in English, Dark Wolf. This kind of reminds me of the initial D. Initial D, Dark Wolf. Mm. All right, let's take a look at the side here, see anything special. You guys hit the pause button if you guys need to read off the box. I'm not gonna read off the box. I'm just gonna skim right through it and then point out if anything uh, uh, interesting. Well, I guess the first interesting here is that the gear ratio, 5.3 to one, which is the slowest, slowest BFS reel that I'll have. In fact, it might be the slowest one of them all in the, the Chinese uh, BFS realm. And then here's the line capacity. Look at that. In fact, why don't we take an opportunity to take a look at what this is on GH100. All right, so GH100, it says right here, it focus for you guys, okay. Um, 0.165 will give you 100 meters. Oh, there's a 165 here as well. So, oh, this has 130. So this guy here, which I'm gonna unbox now, do 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 is a little deeper spool. Oh, look at that, Sue. Popped out saying Sue. All right, that's that's nice. Sometimes I like to carry multiple reels and uh, this will keep my reel from getting scratched up and line being, uh, you know, rolling out. But here we go, look at this guy. Get out of here, GH100. You'll come back in a little later. Wow, look at this reel here. Dark Wolf, as you can see, it looks pretty much very similar to the GH100, but let's, analyze this for a little bit before we actually jump in uh, compare but as we kind of started off we looked at the spool size already it does look like one is uh at least for my side yep this guy definitely looks deeper so we'll take a look at it later and we'll weigh the spools and everything but look at this handle look at that fuse so light in fact i want to weigh this whole thing first we'll start off with this guy here shall we and uh ounces because Weigh everything ounces, 5.36, that's very light. And then this is GH100, 5.71. So yeah, lighter than GH100, deeper spool than a GH100. Let's get this thing out of here. Let's kind of absorb the rest of the visual looks. I can see that this is uh, not 100% black. It's probably like a very, very dark gray with glitter. So it's a pearl black. And look at the Thumb bar is actually darker than everything else. That's black with glitter on it. But yeah, everything else is kind of like a, a dark gray. Kind of like, heck, it's kind of like the carbon fiber gray. Look at that. That gray here, although there's a doll here. Kind of match, matches those. Look at this handle. Feels pretty interesting. Plastic, okay, carbon fiber handle. So reducing weight. Let's take a look at this guy here. Okay, the tension knob clicks. Let's go back to the thumb bar. Oh, just double clicks. I know you hear that if I push it. Yeah, it's a double click. Eh, what the heck? There it goes. A second guy couldn't even turn that. There it goes. 
All right, five max, zero to five. Why well, don't give it a spin test for right now? It's pretty quiet. You guys hear this? All right, definitely probably got some uh, thick grease in the stock bearings, it's okay. We'll take it for a few casts and if I need to, I'll probably just take a air canister and blow it out. But so far, this whole reel feels smooth, very buttery smooth. Now let's take a look at this. Yep, it, it's doing what everyone else is doing now, just like casking. They have uh, this guide here, this cone shape. You can see it's a small diameter here and Probably hard for you guys to see it's actually thicker on that side so it reduced friction during the cast okay pretty good stuff so yeah we looked at the a lot of things right beginning i said you know 5.3 to 1 gear ratio which is very very uh slow slowest of them all and then this is a deeper spool so interesting well other than it's super light and it feels super smooth let's take this apart right now and see how much the spool actually weigh. And, uh, oh, okay, it was already unlocked. Okay, so, we'll put this here, turn this back on. Hello, scale. All right, here we go. We got this in grams, we'll put this in here with the bearing course, 10.1. I guess I could pop it out. It looks like it's the same bearing as the GH100. Look, look at the grease. Actually, can I, can I, can I get this focus for a second? Hope you guys can see the grease. Maybe I'll zoom in, but there's grease. Grease all over this part right here. Shiny. Yeah, they grease this thing up. It's never gonna spin if I, you know, take it out like this. But uh, I guess if I do a cast out of the box, I can't do anything to it until I do a cast out of the box, right? But I guess I could bring an air canister and leave it in the car. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Summertime is going to blow the hell up. But uh, yeah, 10.1. Let's pop this baddie out. Okay. Guys, believe it or not, this thing don't want to pop out. Holy smokes. Uh, I wonder if they actually bent it by accident when they... Yep. I'm not going to force it. So what probably could happen is... Uh, they probably bent it while they're installing it, which is bad on their end. So I got to reach out to Cyranoia and see if they could uh, hook me up and maybe send me another one or something. I have no idea what to do right now, so I got to talk to them. I, uh, I guess you could say first bad unboxing. Guess I can't uh, weigh that, but wait, let me leave this out for a second. Let's just take a look at the GH100 and pop. Everything so far is the same. Look at that. See? Oh, but anyways. Take this baddie out. Oh, turn this back on. 9.5, and I know a, a ceramic hybrid bearings is a little lighter because it doesn't have the shield and also the bearings are ceramic versus uh, stainless steel. So, um, yeah, 10, 10, 10.1. 10, okay, 10. 9.5, so half a gram difference. I don't know if the, the bearings uh, could play a huge role, but you guys could take a Oh, wait a sec. Huh, it's actually a feather center. Oh yeah, you know what? Why don't we do this? We'll just swap the spools. We'll figure it out immediately, right? Nope, I can't go on the GH100. Not at all. And obviously the GH100 will be able to fit in there, but it's gonna have a gap. Yep, there's a gap. So yeah guys, so far, I don't know man, right out the box, I'm thinking the, the dark dark wolf might be the lone wolf. It's pretty interesting how Serena had something going, you know, they, they're doing uh, their Spirit Fox, which is a, uh, basically the XF50, just with shallower spool and a facelift of colors. You know, I thought that was a, a great reel, other than it's been slipping. And uh, then it jumped on the GH100 bandwagon, and uh, it's, you know, other than it's feeling smooth, I don't know how it performs. It might under par based on what I know right now. 
And it's definitely not gonna cast as far as my current GH100 because as you see, I can't even remove that one little pin and I'm not gonna force it until I get, you know, maybe another spool or something. Who knows? I gotta speak with uh, Serenoy. So you guys need to stay tuned for that. Take a look at that guys. The handles are actually a little smaller, which is nice. You know, everything is a small form factor. I mean, everything else, it feels and looks just like the GH100. It might be a little slimmer because look at this, how it curves right there. I'm, in, I'm holding it, it feels pretty much the same. Oh, yep, that's that's pretty much it for the unboxing guys. So uh, yeah, stick around. I'll definitely do a cast test whenever uh, I can take it out. But what do you guys think so far? You think uh, this guy right here out of the box will be better than GH100? I say yes. The question is, if I super tune this reel here, would it be better than GH100? Not sure. You guys can stick around until, uh, I don't know, maybe one or two months down the line. It took almost a month for this thing to ship over, so I don't know how long it take for me to communicate with uh, Serenoia, see if they're gonna replace another spool, but I definitely don't want to take the pin out if I can't put it back in, because that means I won't have a, a reel that I could use uh, for testing. So, in dilemma, if you guys have the Dark Wolf already, leave me a comment below, let me know if uh, you could take your pins out. But so far, it looks like it fits the same bearings as the GH100, as well as the casting Zephyr reel. So if you guys are you know, planning to get any of these BFS reels these days with all these GH100 um, bandwagon reels, you know, reels that copy in the GH100, you guys might want to buy up some bearings and stash it on the side. Who knows, man? You may need it eventually. Peace out.